Dvorak and Tchaikovsky are two perhaps greatest composers in the sense that their nations, Russia and Czech Republic, identify with their art in an equal measure. They also loved each other's music. There is a tremendous affinity in the spirit of the music between these two composers. What it is that make each composer speak in the name of his own people, it's very difficult to describe because music in the end is very mysterious. But inevitably, there is something in the music of Tchaikovsky or Dvorak that corresponds to the psyche of their nation, the lyricism and the drama. Sometimes violence, but always nobility. Connection to the roots of their folk music, of their native music and an amazing mastery and fantasy with which they create material that they developed that become works. There is something in their creativity which made them immortal. And I thought that it was in a way quite appropriate to bring them together on the same program with the two masterpieces that they have created, the Cello Concerto and the Fourth Symphony. My feeling for this city is very much formed by my feeling to the city in which I was born, St. Petersburg. That city is, as Prague, unique in the world by its beauty. And so those of us who are born in beauty, we're sensitive to it. In the morning I arrive in Rudolfinum and I see the, the dignity and the spirit of this building. And then I come on stage and I hear the sounds of this hall and the sounds of this orchestra. And it made me incredibly happy. It made me feel at home. And so this is how I see us going on. We will be changing together. We will be developing together. And what we have, then we want to share with our audiences in Prague, in the Czech Republic, and in the whole world. So we have a lot of projects that we are planning for touring and recording, and something that will make sense out of life of our musicians, because this is what we live for. Mm -hmm.